I'm cooking for my son and I today. Uh, I sh thought I'd show you my very tasty, easy to make uh, spicy spaghetti sauce recipe. We uh, start out with a 45 ounce uh, jar of Prego, traditional. You can substitute uh, any sauce you like for that. We add a uh, 10 ounce can of uh, hot rotel with diced tomatoes and habaneros. You may have noticed from my cooking videos I like to use that in lots of different things. I've got some extremely tasty hot Italian sausage from Lund's. If you've never had their hot Italian sausage I highly recommend it. Their regular sausage is okay too. If you live on the east side, uh, if you know where Morelli's Deli is, their Sicilian sausage tastes very similar. We also got a uh, full package of uh, spaghetti noodles and uh, I like to throw in a little uh, Famous Dave's Cajun uh, Spice Rub into the sauce. Uh, it just adds a little pop to it. Uh, again, this is going to be a pretty spicy sauce. Now you can do uh, a number of different things here. I like a, a very meaty sauce. You can use half that amount of meat if you don't like a lot of meat in your sauce. Uh, you also uh, don't have to use any meat at all. Or if you're not a fan of uh, sausage and you want to use ground beef. You can substitute that for ground beef. I highly recommend though that you really season up that beef or it's going to be kind of bland. I'll be back in a moment as we get this started. Right here we got my water uh, getting ready to heat up. You can see I uh, threw a couple glugs of olive oil in there. It helps keep your pasta from sticking together. I've got my spaghetti sauce and a hot rotel combined here and we don't have that under heat right now we'll wait until after we uh, brown our uh, <coughs> Italian sausage in this pan we'll be back got my uh, hot Italian sausage uh, browning in the pan uh, just a little word of advice if you're using a smaller 12 inch cast iron pan like this if you want to get a nice browning on the sausage, you'll do it a lot quicker if you do it one pound at a time. I found if I try using two pounds in this pan, I, I get too much oil, and it takes a long time for that oil to cook down for you to get the browning you want. Again, I like to get a little crisp outside on that sausage before we're going to combine it with the sauce here. I'll be back. I don't like to break the sausage up into little bitty crumbles. I like to keep it in little sausage pieces so I'll cut it up like this and then uh, as it cooks then uh, we'll cut little pieces off crosswise and then we'll get the, the size we want. You can see now we got it chopped up and uh, we're starting to get some nice browning on it. I'll be back as we get farther along. You can see we're starting to get some nice browning on the meat. Again, we'll cook that for a little while longer. And again, I like to brown the meat because it gives you a nice uh, mouthfeel when you're eating it with the pasta and that. You know, I, I don't like mushy meat in my spaghetti sauce. Uh, you know, it just kind of, it's not as appetizing as when you have something that's got a little, a little bit of a outside crispness to it. But once that's done, we will uh, combine it with this my dog howling just a moment I'm back I had to tell them back I had to tell the dogs to quit howling there was a siren from a police car going by we've got the meat browned where we want I'm going to combine it with the spaghetti sauce and brown that second pound you can see our uh, water here is uh, slowly heating up to a boil that's uh, olive oil you see in it I'll be back all right we got that second a pound of hot Italian sausage uh, browning in the pan. I've added the uh, first pound here. I can't stress again just how tasty the uh, hot Italian sausage is from uh, Lunds. Oh my god. So good. I'll be back. We've got our second pound of hot Italian sausage browning. We've got the 
first pound here waiting for the second pound to be added. I just added my noodles to the uh, boiling water. As the noodles soft, start to soften up a little bit, I'll add some salt to that water too to give the noodles a little flavor. I'll be back. All right, we got my second pound of uh, hot Italian sausage, almost done browning. We've got the heat on now, uh, underneath my pan here. I've got a heat plate underneath it to keep it from uh, making my sauce burn to the bottom of the pan. That's what that metal thing is you see underneath it, if you're not familiar with them. They're, they're pretty handy. And then uh, we've got our uh, noodles here uh, boiling, but uh, they still got about 10, 15 minutes. Now another thing that we're gonna use uh, with this meal that uh, the icing on the cake is we, the Target by us gets this incredible sourdough bread. I mean, it is so good. And uh, we're gonna toast that. And then we're gonna put this uh, garlic and herb butter on the toast. And uh, that goes so good when uh, dipped in the spaghetti sauce. And it, <laughs> I'm starting to drool just thinking about it. But again, we'll be back. Now I always like to clean my cast iron pan as I'm cooking. And the way I do that is after I'm done, I throw a little hot water in it while the flame's still on it. I just scrub around the pan. And we'll dump that and wipe it out and uh, re-oil it. And it's uh, ready for the next time cooking. I love cast iron. See, we got the pan all cleaned out. Got a little oil on a paper towel. Rub that around on the hot pan. And uh, ready for the next time. We've got our uh, sauce here all mixed together and heating up. Our noodles are working on their way to getting done. I'm going to throw uh, a little of the uh, Famous Dave's uh, Cajun Spice Rub in this. This is about how much I use. I don't know, it's maybe a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. Do a touch more. Again, it just adds uh, a, little, uh, a little spice. We already got the habanero uh, diced uh, tomatoes in there, but uh, I like the flavoring pop that that adds as well. There you can see it's all done. Again, it's a nice meaty sauce. Noodles came out perfect. That right there is my bowl. Threw a little cheese on top. We've got some uh, of that sourdough bread with the uh, garlic butter on it. Right there is Max's bowl. I'm going to dish that up and I'm going to show you how I do that. We like to eat this out of a bowl, so. What we usually start with is we put a scoop at the bottom of the bowl. Some noodles. How much do you want, Max? You real hungry? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry today. Alright. I'm gonna put a big scoop. Tough, you want a little cheese on top of that? Oh uh, sure. from over here. Uh, that's Max's. Now just a second here before we go, I'll show you my food. The garlic uh, bread is really tasty. Dip that in a little sauce. Come in and closer, Max. What we do is we then mix it all up. We put the stuff in the bottom also so it mixes well. See if I can do this without uh, getting too messy on camera here. <laughs> here goes nothing. Mm. Again, the spaghetti really comes out well. Super easy to make. Pretty cheap as well. 
and uh, lots of flavor. All things I like when I got to make something quick for my son and I. That's all. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah. <laughs>